Hey, what's up everyone? It's Asad with 52 Cards Hair. In this video, I'm gonna be doing a full tutorial and explanation on the tabled for Ace production, which I showed you last week. If you haven't seen the performance video for that, I'll link to it on the screen here and in the description box down below. That video will give you a, a good idea of the timing and the rhythm that uh, you should do this with. Uh, so check it out and then you can come back here and learn exactly how it's done, okay? So to do this, there is a bit of a setup. You're gonna have the four aces starting off on top of the deck, as I'm sure many of you guessed. I like to have the ace of spades in the fourth position, uh, just because it's a, it's a nice little touch to produce that one last, okay? So the four aces are on top. And um, keep in mind that with a routine like this, it's very flexible. So I'm gonna show you exactly the way that I like to do it. But uh, if for whatever reason you don't like some of the moves that I'm doing or you're not able to do some of them, you can easily substitute you know, different moves in place of anything that I'm doing here. Okay, so you can make it your own, do it your own way. But right now I'm gonna show you how I prefer to do it. So they start off on top of the deck and I like to start off by just giving the deck a few shuffles. Okay, so the first shuffle I'm doing, uh, I'm gonna pull the top half of the deck to the left. And uh, basically I'm just doing a table riffle shuffle. However, I'm hanging on to the top four cards or at least four cards from the left hand side and I'm dropping them on top so it doesn't disturb the order of the top four aces on top of the deck. After that, I'm gonna follow up with another table shuffle. Once again, pulling the top half to the left. And this time I'm gonna shuffle everything except for the top card in the right hand half. And then I'm gonna have you know uh, the top four cards preserved on the left hand here. I'm not shuffling any cards in between the top four on the left hand side. And then I'm gonna finish the shuffle like so. Okay, so basically I'm depositing one random card on top of the four aces, okay? Once I've done this, uh, I could do some false cuts if I wanted to, but usually at this point, I'm gonna move right into the first card production. And to do this, I'm gonna be using what's known as a slip cut. We've talked about the slip cut on the channel in the past, but I'll give a brief overview of how to do that again. I'm gonna come over and essentially here's what's happening in slow motion. I'm breaking the deck in half and I'm carrying the bottom half forward, but at the same time with my first ring, or excuse me, index finger, I'm contacting the very top card of the deck, which in this case is the random card that we just deposited on top of the four aces, and I'm sliding it with me along with the bottom half. So it should look like the illusion that you're trying to create is that you're just cutting the deck in half and then you're finding an ace. Okay, really um, you, all you're doing is moving one card. You're moving the topmost card. The bottom half goes forward, as you slide the top card with it. And then immediately afterwards, I'm gonna pick up the top card of my left hand half here and reveal that to an ace, okay? So I can place that down on the table. And the remaining aces are here, so I either slap this on top or I can come back and give it another shuffle walk, just keeping the aces on top. Okay, so after producing the first ace, I like to then uh, follow up with a bit of a false cut and uh, false shuffle sequence. So it starts off by doing the Vernon cold deck false cut. I made a full tutorial on this in the past. I'll link you to it on the screen here and in the description box down below. I'll very quickly go over it right now, but you know, make sure you watch that full tutorial if you haven't learned it yet. I'm stripping out the middle portion of the deck. I'm following up by placing the top portion of the deck there. I'm bringing the cards together, but leaving a break in between those two halves. And then from there, I'm moving into an up the ladder sequence. Okay, once again, I've topped up the ladder fall shuffle in full detail in the past. I'll link you to that video on the screen here and in the description box down below. But briefly, it looks something like this. I'm separating the cards at the break. And then I'm doing this um, kind of swivel or um, rotating shuffle sequence, which really doesn't move any cards at all. And I finish by slapping it on top. Okay, so that was all just for show to make it look like I'm shuffling the deck, but really the aces are still right here on top. Okay, once you've done that, you're ready to move into the second ace production, which I'd like to use a Benzias spin out for. Okay, once again, I've taught the Benzias in the past, link you to it here in the description box down below. Uh, you got quite a bit of homework to do with this routine if you don't know these moves yet, but I'm just showing you how to combine them into uh, you know kind of a full routine here. The Benzai spin out is actually similar to the first slip cut we did, but instead of just cutting the deck, what we're going to be doing is slip cutting that top card and then just kind of letting it fly out. Okay, uh, I'll do that once more for you so you can get uh, a good idea of what that looks like. 
you have the aces on top, and by doing the Benzai spin out, it should look like a card is just flying out from the middle of the deck. That's the illusion that you're creating. Really, it's coming from the top, and you're just using a spin out. Uh, let me do that again. I didn't really like that one. You're doing a spin out to let it just shoot out from the deck, and then you can dramatically reveal that it is, in fact, another ace. Make sure you check the full tutorial on the Benzai spin out for that, uh, and then uh, and you'll have a really cool production for that second ace. Okay. After this, uh, I like to do another false cut sequence. This is um, a, a Vernon cut, I believe. I'll link you to it. I've done a tutorial for this as well in the past. Link here in the description box. It looks something like this. Okay. Once again, um, it starts from a tabled position, and then you're. It's a false triple cut essentially. I'll do that, and then I'll move into the third ace production. Now, for this next production, I haven't taught this before. I actually don't remember what it's called. I saw Bill Malone do it like over a decade ago. I thought it looked really cool. Here's what you're gonna do. You're, um, if anyone knows the name for this next move, by the way, let me know in the comment section below. But here's what it looks like. You're gonna get a break underneath the top card of the deck, which is an ace. And to do that, it's very similar as if you're, you know, you're doing like a thumb count from a uh, deck in your hand, except you're doing it from the table position. You're just riffling up the back edge, catching a break under the top card. And from here, you're going to be breaking off the lower half of the deck with your right hand. You bring it out. You're going to flip it over on top of the remaining face down portion. You're going to completely square the two halves. And you still have that break uh, below your, or above your uh, left thumb. So at this point, you're going to break off once again at the break. And then you're going to flip that half again like so which is gonna reveal a single ace, and then I'll do like maybe a little s spinny flourish, okay? So once you see it, you pick it up, you can spin it, and then place it down on the table. For the fourth and final ace production, we're gonna be using another technique which I've taught in the past, uh, I'll link you to it on the screen here and in the description box down below, but I'll go over it briefly uh, once again here. The last remaining ace is on top of the deck at this point. Before you get into the production, you need to take it to the bottom of the deck. So to do that, uh, you're going to use uh, two undercuts. So the first step is to, once again, riffle up with your thumb, catch a break underneath that top ace. Cut the deck in half, and uh, you're going to deposit that half right on top, and then you're going to cut once again right at the break which takes that ace from the top to now at the bottom. Once you've done this, you're ready to begin the fourth ace production. The first step is you're gonna split the deck in half, like so. So the ace is on the bottom of this half, and uh, you're gonna do a table riffle shuffle, but the way that you do it is, um, it has to be very specific. So you're first gonna make sure that you shuffle off the left hand half bottom card singly. Boom, that's the ace and then you need to shuffle uh, at least one right hand card off on top of it. And from there you can just shuffle as you normally want. You just need to make sure that you shuffle off that bottom card off singly on the left hand side. Okay, once you've done this, you're gonna square the two halves and then you're gonna do this motion where with your right hand, you're gonna pick up all the cards um, in, the, you know, in the interwoven deck. That's gonna leave the single ace just resting on the table by itself. And from here, I'm just going to move the whole unit to the right until that bottom card is centered in the interwoven deck. So right about there is good. Okay, so that's just the motion that you're going to do. You're going to start off here, and then in, almost in the process of squaring the deck, um, or you know pushing the two halves together, I'm just lifting and I'm sliding until that card is r aligned right in the center. Okay, from here, I'm going to pick up half of the interwoven cards and I'm gonna cut them to the table. I pick up the bottom half uh, along with that ace, which is centered at the bottom at this point, and I place it right on top of that half. And at this point, I'm ready to do the production. It's super easy. That card is now centered in, in the shuffle. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm gripping both halves like so. I usually use my middle and ring finger at the front of each half and my thumb at the back. And um, I'm going to move the right hand half forward. So a very light touch. If you have too much friction, um, you know, it's going to be difficult to separate the halves. Just want to have a light touch. You want to have plenty of air between the shuffled cards. 
And as I start to move my right hand forward, because that card was shuffled, it's gonna to start to swivel out. Notice the pivot points. I'm contacting that middle card right here with my right thumb. My left middle finger is contacting it and it's revolving around those two points. So as I move those halves away from each other, this is what's gonna be happening. Just try it for yourself, you'll see how it works. I'm gonna to continue to go until that card is completely separated from the pack. And then I like to do this little motion where I move both hands in opposite directions. That's just a nice look. From here, I'll pick up that card and reveal the fourth ace in the deck. Bring the halves together and you have completed the routine. Super impressive, very visual, it's got an elegance to it. Uh, it will require quite a bit of practice in your card handling and sleight of hand ability to, to do it well. Uh, but it's well worth it. A lot of fun to do. Hope you guys enjoy that. And uh, if you like this video, give it a like, leave a comment, and uh, make sure you've subscribed to the channel for future tutorials on sleight of hand, card magic, and all that good stuff. All right, guys.